Uh, hello, this is another follow-up video showing how to uh, load and uh, distribute to various platforms uh, Adobe eBook. The Adobe eBooks, after you purchase them and download what's called the book, you're downloading the book, you're actually downloading this small file, 800 bytes or so, called the Adobe Content Server Message. So that's your book. This is a file that shows up in your download folders when you say download the book. That's the file to save. Put that in a safe place. Because once you have this, you can email this to any device you have, a Mac computer, PC computer, Android, tablet, phone, iPad, and then open the book. That's, a la that's all you have to have. So save a copy of this. And so then uh, I'll just do an example here. So I have this on my computer, Mac, PC, or tablet. It could be on a tablet. doesn't matter. However you got it first time. And then I go, I'm going to right click and say send to mail recipient mail recipient and that should uh, open some mail program here and then you can then uh, click a button and send that uh, send that off where is the send button here send and it attached it it attached it as an attachment there and then you send that and then that's done uh, don't save okay so we've mailed it now then you go to your device. Let's say I want, now, if I've got my own email there, I can probably open my email on all my devices. So I'm going to, just for the example here, uh, bring this over to a uh, iPhone. Let's see if I can make that iPhone a little bit bigger. Yeah, okay, so there's an iPhone. So that that is then... Uh, oh, oh, my time, my phone timed out. Okay, hang on just a second. I have to. Um, there's the. Uh, oh, come on, man. Okay. So there we go. Let me make it just a little bit smaller so it fits in the picture here we're doing. Okay. So there, so when this, now I'm going to have to switch from here and go to my fingers on the, on the phone. So now, once that, I'm going to touch this, I'm going to just hold my finger. So I, I received my email, and there's the AC, a, 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 uh, ACSM file attached, and I gave it that heading so I could identify it. Now I'm going to hold this down with my finger, and as I hold that down with my finger, these options show up at the bottom here of the different ways to open it. And I'm going to use, and we'll explain this later, I'm going to use, uh, I'm, I'm not going to use, the, for the phone, I'm not going to use the Adobe uh, Digital Editions Reader. I'm going to use a different reader, which has some nicer features. And that's also free, called the Blue Fire Reader, and we'll put, uh, I'll put a note on how about that. That's quite a nice reader. So I'm just going to say, open it with that. Now, did that do it, or do I have to tap? I have to tap it twice. Okay. So then, uh, hmm, that's interesting. My phone is doing something that's not, not reflecting. Oh, there it goes. For some reason, it wasn't reflecting. Ah, so I may have to pause the video now, because it at this point, it's going to actually download that whole file. It's downloading the entire book. So at this point, I'm going to pause the video. This could take maybe a minute. doesn't take much longer than that, but it could take a minute. But I'm going to stop now, and we'll come, I'll come back as soon as that's done. So that actually took, uh, took actually less than a minute. So, uh, oh, which one did I do? I obviously had done this one before because the book's in there twice. But I'll just say read now. And so the book, uh, your I further location. Okay, I don't know what that means. So here's the book, and that's the cover. And then, uh, yeah, and so I'd been reading this before. And so now for this reader, and then you can make the font size anything you want. If you go here and go to the gears, then you can make the fonts bigger or smaller. If you want the fonts bigger, you can do that. Um, and then you can change the various options on the display. So I'll save that. 
but now uh, you have read to, okay that's just telling me how far I'd read now here here for example a nice thing about the uh, blue fire reader that the other readers don't do is I can then touch this picture tap this picture and then I can zoom on it and you see even though I'm in a small phone I can go in and read every detail of that uh, that picture so that's a nice uh, a nice feature and then you can also go to the uh, table of content how do I get to the con oh why don't I hit contents okay content oops contents and then there's a table of contents with the chapters and if I want to go read about rocks I could hit this button here on rocks and then I'm in the uh, section on rocks which you can read in here and again, if you see these pictures like this, um, you can zoom. This is actually easy to read, even in this phone, the way the size it was. But um, let's see, maybe I get a, a picture that... Um, well, there's one. Now, that's a little bit hard to read. So if I go in here and then zoom it, so there you can see, you can read exactly what it says. So that's a nice feature done. You can also search if you put like, oh, Panama, that's a good one, search. I must have tried that. And then here's the various places uh, that Panama is discussed in the book. Um, I don't know exactly why now, but anyway, so that's a demo running the, um, running the, um, Adobe ebook in an iPhone that we moved to the iPhone by just emailing the ACSM file.